Hey guys, um, so I just want to record a quick tutorial video because I was getting a lot of questions about how to install the Discord Discord uh, Among Us bot. Um, and so yeah, I was just going to walk through that really quick. So we'll first start with the pre-installation steps. The first thing you want to do is install Tesseract OCR. So if you just click on that, and this is in the uh, README for this repository. It's github.com slash denverquain slash Among Us Discord. Um, so yeah, we're just in the installation steps, and this is the pre-installation that we're doing right now. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, install Tesseract OCR. Um, you'll get a an exe file, um, and so when that's done downloading, I've already got it installed, but you'll just click on that, and it'll install, um, and the default installation location should be right here. Um, so you should end up with a tesseract.exe uh, under this directory. Um, so assuming that went well, uh, then the next part is to set up the actual Discord bot. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up this link. Um, this is just for the Discord developer portal. Um, and we're going to make a new application. So in this case, we're just going to call it Among Us 2. And then it'll lead us into the app um, the app portal with all the app, app information. Uh, so the first thing we want to do, just following these steps, we want to go to bot on the left panel. We want to add a bot. Um, and so this enables kind of the custom functionality that we have. Then we're going to scroll down and do privilege gateway intents. And we want to make sure that the server member's intent is toggled on. Uh, without this, the server can't really, or the bot can't really understand when users move around and when they're in voice channels, so it won't really be able to track people and, and mute them in the relevant channels. So that's really important to have that on. Um, so let me go back up. Uh, here you can swap out the image if you like. I actually have images provided in the image repo here, or in the, sorry, in the images directory in this repo. So there's a sample image for the bot if you'd like to use that one, or feel free to replace it with another one. You can also set the username. Uh, so this is what the actual bot looks like in your Discord channel. And I'm getting questions about the tutorial right now. Um, so that you can you can change that if you like. But the real thing that we want to make sure that we get is we want to get the token. So we want to copy that, make sure it's copied to our clipboard. Um, and then what we're going to do is I'm just going to open up my download directory because this is where we're going to download the exe later. Uh, and I'm just going to make a new text file. Um, so it doesn't we don't want it to be a text file in the end, but making a text file for now is fine. Um, so we're just going to put uh, so this is the bot token, so we're just going to say bot token equals, and that doesn't have to be exact, we're going to change that later, I'm just doing it here for my testing right now. Um, so yeah, just make a note of that, make sure you don't lose that, just put that in there for now. Okay, cool, so now we're done with step C uh, in the readme, so we're going to move on to step D, so we're going to go into the OAuth2, um, and so what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure that we click bot under the scopes section. Um, so this flags to Discord that it's a bot that we're enabling. And then in this section you have an option. You can either do administrator, which I wouldn't personally recommend. It gives your bot access to everything in your server. Um, in this case we're only doing certain functionality in the server, so it's not a big deal if you did do that. But you know, if you were to install a malicious bot, you definitely wouldn't want to do that. And you just should be careful about giving away permissions to bots. Um, so in this case, all we really need enabled, um, as again, in the readme, is view channels, which is right here. We want to be able to send messages that the bot can actually send messages to the channels, um, and then obviously we needed to be able to mute members. Um, so that's all we need. So once we have these boxes ticked, it will have updated this URL field right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that, and then once we've copied it, we're going to paste it up here, just into another tab in your web browser. Then in here, it's going to ask you which server you want it to connect to. So in this case, this is my test server. We're going to add it to Among Us Discord. Um, it'll list out the permissions. You want to authorize it to the CAPTCHA. Um, Sweet, and then you even saw that it popped up, so it got invited and successfully showed up in my test channel. So once that's authorized, you can close that down, um, and we're officially done with step E now. Okay, cool. So last step, this one's a little bit, tiny bit more complicated. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Discord, uh, let's see, dot com slash app. You can also click it in the README. That would make a lot more sense. Um, and then we're going to go to the specific server and the specific, so the servers, you know, on the left side, we're going to go to the specific server and go to the specific text chat that we know that we want, we're going to want the bot to be able to communicate in. So in this case, you can see my bot from earlier that I was doing testing with. Um, but the key is, I, I was having another user that couldn't see this earlier, so it kind of depends. But what we need is we need the guild or the server ID, which can be found here if we right-click on the server and then copy the ID. It can be found that way. And then we also need the channel ID, which is by clicking on the individual text channel. It needs to be a text channel so the bot can post the commands. And we copied that ID. So respectively, those are going to be the server ID in the in the readme. It's uh, or guild ID, sorry. That's going to be the guild ID. 
Um, and then if we right click on the text channel, um, if you copy that ID, that's going to be the channel ID. However, if you're one of those users that it doesn't seem to be able to give you the prompt to copy these IDs, you can go into the URL and it displays the information in the same way up here. So this this first string of, of digits, this is going to be the guild ID, so this is going to be the server. And then the second string of digits is going to be the specific channel, the text channel. Um, so you just need those two pieces of information. So you can go ahead and add those to your ENV file. Again, this isn't our final ENV. Um, this is what we're doing for now. So what would it be? It would be like... Again, this is not what the final strings are, so I'm just pasting these for now. So the guild is that, and the channel is the second string. Let's go ahead and paste that. And don't try, don't try these credentials after this video because I will delete this bot. I don't want people, you know, maliciously accessing this. Anyway, so once we have all that information, these are the three pieces that we need. These are the three pieces that we need for running the actual final application. So once you have all this set up and you make sure that the, you know, the bot shows up, it'll be offline. But as long as it shows up, then you should be good to go. So now we're done with the pre-installation, assuming we got the test rack installed. Um, so now we're going to proceed to the easy installation section. So the first piece is to download the executable. So this takes us to the releases page. You can see the past versions, but what we want to do is we want to take the most recent version, in this case 1.1.1, um, and then we're going to go ahead and download. We're going to keep, if you were concerned from a security perspective about downloading these EXEs, you're more than welcome to compile the, um, the Go program from source, from source code. Uh, I link to some instructions in the install from source. You're more than, more than welcome to do that. Functionality should be exactly the same. These are just for convenience. So um, if we have that executable, and if we go back into our downloads folder, you can see that we have the Among Us Discord.exe, and then we have this final text document. Um, so now, now what we do need to do is we need to adjust that final document and put in the relevant values that we want. So if you scroll, this is step two of the easiest installation guide. So if you scroll down, you can see configuration in the README. You can go ahead and just copy all of this into the file. Um, and so these are what, everything above here is what we're copying and pasting, you know, for our convenience. But everything down here is the real values. So bot token, so we pasted that earlier. So we can go ahead and cut that and put that right here because that's our bot token. Make sure there's no new lines on it. Then we take the guild ID, cut that, and we'll pop that right over here. And then finally we take the channel ID, cut that, and pop that over here. Cool. So then we can delete these extra ones. And now we have our final ENV file. The only problem is just that it's named the wrong thing. So right now, because it's a notepad document or it's a text document, it's going to end in .txt. So if you're in notepad, what you want to do is you want to call it final.env and then make sure you change the type to all files or else it'll save as a .env.txt again. So go ahead and save. And if we close out, so we now have two final documents. One is a text document, one's an ENV. You can go and delete the text document because we only need the .env file. Um, and then if you go ahead and click on, if you double click on this executable, fingers crossed, everything should work. It's a big fingers crossed. Cool, looking good. So we can see our lo all our logs scrolling in. We can see waiting for game to begin. And then if you go over here on the Discord, we can actually see that bot did just pop up. Bot is online, um, 835. So yeah, bots online. So yeah, I hope that answers a lot of questions as far as the installation and the pre-installation goes. Um, I know it's a lot of, you know, a little bit complicated steps, especially with the Discord portion. Um, but yeah, once you have that going, it should be good to roll. Um, and then anytime you want to make any more environment, yeah, so sometimes it does the offline message, sometimes it doesn't, so don't rely on that too much. I'm still fixing that. Uh, but yeah, if you want to go back and make changes, you can go ahead and edit the same file. Um, if you want to change anything in here, like the resume delays, feel free to modify that. Um, as I add more, you know, environment variables into the ENV, this is where you change them. Um, but anytime you save, it should, I think at this point, it should automatically save as a final.env, but, you know, maybe, maybe just make sure that it's saving as final.env whenever you save. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I think that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the YouTube comments. I'll probably be more likely to check if they are in the repo. Um, so again, that's this URL up here. You can file an issue if you have a GitHub account. Um, that's probably the easiest way that I'll be capable of seeing and responding directly. But yeah, that's the basic installation steps. So yeah, good luck.